How to measure turbine journal bearing clearance using lead wire full procedure and importance. Turbine journal bearing clearance, why it matters and how it's measured. Welcome to YouTube channel I am Engineer Umar. In today's video, we'll be explaining how journal bearing clearance is checked in steam turbines using lead wire, step by step. Step by step process of lead wire method. Step 1, clean the bearing and shaft. Clean the bearing surface and rotor journal with lint-free cloth. There should be no dust, oil, or particles on the surface. Step 2, cut the lead wire. Take a soft lead wire of known diameter, commonly 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters. Cut a small piece. Step 3, place the lead wire. Gently place the lead wire lengthwise on the rotor journal surface or inside the bearing shell, right where the shaft will sit. Step 4, fit the bearing cap. Now carefully place the upper half of the bearing cap in position. Tighten the bolts gradually and uniformly using a torque wrench. As the cap presses down, it flattens the soft lead wire. Step 5, open the cap and remove the wire. After torquing is complete, Carefully open the cap and remove the flattened lead wire. Step 6. Measure the flattened lead wire. Use a micrometer to measure the width, thickness, of the compressed wire at several points. This flattened thickness equals actual clearance between journal and bearing. Straight ruler example. If original lead wire equals 1 mm. After compression equals 0.15 mm. White have a check mark then, your clearance is 0.15 mm. Step 7, compare with OEM specifications. Now compare your measured clearance with OEM recommended values. If it's within limit, you're good. If too high or low, adjustment is needed. 5, adjusting the clearance, if out of limit. If the clearance is not correct, you may need to. Replace bearing shell. Use shims to adjust bearing housing height. Polish rotor journal or bearing shell, if slightly oversized. Always consult turbine manual or OEM guidelines before doing this. 6. Common mistakes to avoid. While using the lead wire method, avoid these common mistakes. Using wire with unknown diameter. Placing lead wire in the wrong position. Measuring with a damaged micrometer. Forgetting to torque cap bolts properly. Measuring only one point instead of multiple locations. We'll also cover. White have a check mark why correct bearing clearance is critical for turbine health. White have a check mark how improper clearance leads to failure. White have a check mark real time process of clearance checking. So, let's get started. What is journal bearing clearance? Turbine journal bearings support the rotor shaft and allow it to rotate freely. Between the rotor shaft and the bearing surface, there is a small gap, known as the bearing clearance. This clearance is very precise, usually in the range of microns. Too tight. The bearing can overheat. Too loose. The shaft vibrates. So, maintaining correct clearance is key to turbine performance and safety. 2. Why is clearance measurement important? Here's why bearing clearance is so important in steam turbines. 1. Prevents rotor-to-bearing contact. Ensures there is enough oil film between rotor and bearing. 2. Reduces vibration. Correct clearance helps maintain dynamic balance and vibration control.